I think it's so important to keep going and be independent for as long as you possibly can. Oh yes, can. definitely. Yes. So that's the key, isn't it? Yes. Um, but I wouldn't want to live to be a hundred, um, because when I no, but you see, when you get near to it, <laughs> you can't believe it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you st will you still be saying that if you get near to a hundred and you're still enjoying life? When you're When I was young, I used to say three score year and ten, and that's my lot. I don't want to live after that. Age is a quality of mind. If you have left your dreams behind, if hope is cold, if you no longer look ahead, if your ambitions fires are dead, then you are old. But if from life you take the best, and if in life you keep the jest, if love you hold, no matter how the years go by, no matter how the birthdays fly, you are not old. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you said to somebody who's older, if you had health or wealth, it's nice to have both, but I think it's no good being the richest person, is it, if you haven't got yeah, your health. Yeah. You no. really choose. Um, it can't bring happiness if you're not happy in the first place. But money can make being That's miserable more difference. comfortable. Yes. <laughs> well, nuns give up all their worldly goods, don't they? And I think they found inner happiness and they seem to be happy people on the whole. Yes, I I, can't I think you've got to have a, a, an, an enormous amount of faith, which I haven't got. No. Um, to do that. They, they're so sure about going to heaven and all the rest of it, aren't they? That, yes. that, that gives yeah. them their peace of mind. Yeah. And um, well, modern science has proved that, that can't, a lot of what's in the Bible can't possibly be right. Yeah. No. Because modern science has disproved it, hasn't it? Well, I, I think I read somewhere that you, you need faith because faith, you can't prove that um, there's a God. No, well, my outlook on dying is, well, if there is something afterwards, how lovely. Yes. If there isn't, it's just a nothingness. Don't believe in hell for that, I'm sure, no, isn't it? No. And, um, you know, so whatever's ahead, it's not bad. I do not like this getting old. It only gets worse, so I am told. There's little hope that I can see body succumbs to gravity <laughs> whilst in the mirror there is no doubt what once went in is pushing out only my dress size is on the up dare I mention the double G cup <laughs> when once I used to dance and rave a good night's sleep is all I crave every night at half past three I crawl, I crawl out yet again to have a wee <laughs> My social life is almost nil, no time in between the umpteenth pill, yet I can talk with dedication about my latest medication. Where is this land of milk and honey? Is it only me who's short of money? Wait, this grumpy old woman should not complain. I've just restocked on my champagne. But all is not gloom and doom. From grandchildren in the other room, I overheard their kiddie chat. When Granny dies, we get the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, it looks lovely. Well, I'm not sure how lucky it is. When did you make that? Last night. <laughs> well, I was born in '34. And the war broke out in 39, mm. so the war years were very hard. Mm. But looking back, everybody was in the same boat. No one had any money. No. No one except doctors and important people had cars. Mm. Um, it was not a materialistic society. So I think this is why I'm so impatient with young people who want everything straight away. They're not prepared to work and save and then get. No. They want to get then pay back gradually. I wanted to be a teacher, but I couldn't afford to go to college. So Yes, well, we don't realise yes. in such a short time how the world, how has, the world changed. has changed. I think it's changed more dramatically in the last 20 years.
since they've had the internet and computers and things. Oh, definitely.